Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to basically turn your PS Vita into an Nvidia Shield and stream your PC games and play them on your PS Vita. So this is actually really cool. Um, the PC will, sound will come through the PS Vita and the gameplay, and you'll be able to use the PS Vita controls as well. So if you guys are interested in this, what you want to do is just go ahead and open up Vita Shell. Then just press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once you're over on your PC, there's actually a few things that you need to have. You need to have a NVIDIA GeForce graphics card, and it must be the GTX 600 or above. So if it's below that, the chances are this isn't going to work. So it must be above a 600 series. And there's also some setup instructions here. So you need to get GeForce experience. So the chances are if you have a GeForce graphics card, you will have this installed already. So what you want to do is just go ahead and open it up. Then go to the settings, make sure it is selected on shield, and then just turn game stream on. Just give it a few seconds to load, and then it will just look exactly like this with the on button. Right guys, so back on Google Chrome, what you want to do is you want to go to this page and you want to download the latest version of the Moonlight VPK, which was actually released three days ago. So all you want to do is just click Moonlight VPK and that will begin downloading. And once that has finished, um, there's another link in the description and this will show you all of the games which are supported. So you probably want to check, uh, make sure you have this game on your PC. So make sure you have one of these games on your PC before you actually try this out. Otherwise it would just be pointless because you know you wouldn't have anything to play. So this has got quite a lot of games on here. It's got Fortnite, it's got um, Minecraft on here as well. I'll see if I can find that. Here's Minecraft. So yeah, t plenty of really cool games that you can play on your PS Vita. So now what you want to do is just head over to your downloads folder and you will be able to find the Moonlight VPK in there. And all you want to do is just drag and drop that on the root of your PS Vita. So we'll copy across in seconds. So once you're done with this, go back onto your PS Vita and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so back on the PS Vita, you just want to go to your VPK file, so mine is in my UXO folder. Scroll all the way down and then just press X on it to install it. So just press X again and now it's just going to start installing. It will install in seconds because it's a very small file. So once it's finished installing, you can just press circle to go back to the main menu and now completely close down Vita Shell. Now just look for the application. So here it is on my home screen. It's called Moonlight. Just press X and then press X to start it. So it's going to come up with this menu and basically guys, what you want to do is just scroll down and make sure it's on connect to and then press X. Now go back to your PC and I'll show you guys how to get the IP address that you need. Right guys, so just back on your PC very quickly. What you want to do is just go to the search option and type in CMD and then just choose the first one which is called command prompt. And basically in here guys, all one word, you want to type in IP config. And then just press enter. What this is going to do is just give you all the information about your router and your um, wireless LAN adapter. So what we're looking for is the IPv4 address, which is the one right here. And what you want to do, guys, is just copy that down onto your PS Vita. Okay, so now we just put in that address. So mine was dot one dot ninety one. Don't enter the same as me because it just won't work. Yours will be different. And then you just tap the green arrow. So now it's going to connect to that IP address and as you can see it's connected to my PC It actually has my graphics card up here, which is pretty cool And it shows all the applications that I can run so the first option is disconnect Obviously, we don't want that right now, but we've got steam uh, chivalry medieval warfare We've got counter-strike project cars uh, payday 2 minecraft uh, Fortnite, which is really interesting and then we've also got Rocket League so uh, we'll try and play a few games on here I guess in this video I won't cover all of them because that's just way too long right guys so we're just loading up a quick game of Counter-Strike obviously I'm not going to be very good but this is just going to be a demo so you guys can see how good it is and this is actually a really good way to play your Steam games on your PS Vita 
Right guys, so in a custom map right now because the online map, um, it was just way too hard to play and I would just get wrecked. So we're on just like a map with some bots in. And as you can see, it's basically registered the PS Vita as a controller. So here are the bots. Now the only problem with this game is the back buttons um, are the shoot buttons. You can actually configure that. So let me just show you if I just moved it a bit and try and play. Let me try and kill this bot. I probably won't be able to. Yeah, there you go. So here's some other games that I've got on the list. Um, we could try some Rocket League actually. Let me just press X and load up Rocket League. Alright guys, so Rocket League is updated and it's finally loaded up. So let's test it out. Oh, by the way guys, this has sound as well. So let me prove that to you as well. A bit quiet, hopefully you guys can hear that. So let's go on training because I just want to test this out. Let's just go on free play. I don't really want to go on an online match and just get wrecked or anything like that. So here we are in the game of Rocket League. Let's just test this out. So X appears to be jump. Triangle appears to be like free cam. Square is I'm not too sure like boost or something. Oh, there you go. Circles drive. So as you can see, we can play it right now. Let's try and score a goal. And um, this is this is much harder than the PC. Obviously, I'm really used to mouse and keyboard um, with Rocket League, so that's why I suck. But eventually, you know, you can actually get the hang of playing your PC games on your PS Vita. So right now, if I look at the FPS, it's at looks to be at 70, 60 or 70. It's kind of flickering on and off. Not quite sure why it's doing that, but there you go. The sound is enabled. Oh, there's a bit of lag there. There you go, you guys should have heard that. So yeah, the sound's really quiet. It seems to be a lot louder on Counter-Strike, so I'm not quite sure. But there you go. Now there's just one more thing to show you guys. If you just refresh the app, close it down, open it again, you'll be on this screen again. And what you can do, you can go into settings, and this is where you can change controls, resolution, FPS. So make sure FPS is on uh, maximum. Bitrate, leave it on 10,000. You can change graphics for certain games as well. If you scroll down, there's input. Um, there's even more options down here like touchscreen special keys you can change all of this kind of stuff so that is pretty much how you change the settings uh, the settings on Rocket League are actually pretty good I have to admit um, I could definitely deal with them the settings on CSGO however um, probably not maybe I'll test Fortnite on this as well and see what it's like probably not in this video so that is pretty much it for this video so if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one